Okay, we're going to lift the car into the air. If you have a lowered car, you may have to drive up onto some wood in order to get the jack under. So we lift it on the beam there and put our jack stand at the front. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Okay, so with the jack stands on each side, you want to go back and check that both of them are still good because when you lift on one side, sometimes the other one starts to tilt. Okay, so now we're going to fill and burp the cooling system. So you do want the front of the car up in the air. And we're going to do this on the 32 valve cars. We need to remove this coolant crossover. As you see, it's just a square. It's not an Allen or Torx. And so what you're going to be using is a, a quarter inch drive socket wrench with just this part on it, no attachment. And you want to use this with the black um, or if you have an impact that's black, you want to do that. I have used the chrome ones before and they've snapped right off if you've used like an extension with a little chrome t top and it's just snapped off inside of here. So here's an example. Earlier I had used this on my Mach 1. It was an extension and you can see it just snapped right off. So you want to use the hardened black metal or you're going to have some problems like this one that's stuck down in there. So you want something strong enough, which is this. And as you can see, these get uh, rounded out a little bit too, so you might even want to wrap this. Now, the trick with these also is heat. Um, these get really, really hard to take off, so we're taking an actual heat gun, not a hair dryer, and we're going to just heat this up pretty good. So make sure you don't melt any of your connections or anything in here. Just kind of hit it at the top, get it, get it hot right here. Okay, I took some of this reflective tape that's meant for heat, wrapped it around this just so it's a little more snug. Be careful because this is hot now. There we go. Popped it right open. Okay, and that's gonna be hot, so be careful with it. And remember, don't burn everything up here. You just want it hot but these coolant crossover deals are pretty bad. A lot of people will weld a nut right on the top and there are some aftermarket ones you can buy. We're gonna let that cool off for a minute, but uh, it's broken loose now and we'll remove it. Okay, we've let that cool off enough now. That's what it looks like. Okay, so this is where we're gonna be filling the coolant system. So we're just going to put our funnel in here and start adding our coolant. Now, if you have a bone dry radiator, if you were doing that, I would recommend taking this off and dumping the fluid down this hose so it goes directly into the radiator. That's a, going to be a, a real good way to fill it up because that goes down right into the radiator. Don't just fill it up here on the expansion tank. The expansion tank does have a line that comes out of the bottom, but it also just has you know, smaller lines that we're not to, as interested in. But um, anyway, your options, if you want, pour it directly into this one going that way. And you can even have it go this way. That'd be a little harder to do, but I'd pop this off and hold it up and just fill it in and um, also in here. So uh, we want air to escape in the high points, which would be here and also here. So we're just going to pour coolant into these two places. Okay, so either one of these works. We'll start here. Okay, so the expansion tank's pretty full. Now we're just going to fill it here. Okay, so we're pretty full here in the expansion tank. Um, if you want to pinch some of these lines you can, but we're gonna start filling here in the crossover. But you can see if you had just filled the expansion tank only, look at how much more coolant it would take and you would have thought that you were done. We're 
We're going to keep filling this up. Okay. It's starting to get close here. Okay, so now it's pretty close to where it's overflowing. So what we're gonna do is start the car, put the heater on high and run the heater. And as the car warms up and runs, we're gonna leave this on here so air can escape and we're gonna keep adding coolant. run like this for a few minutes to get warmed up once again heat all the way on full throttle <laughs> full heat as, as high as it'll go Feel it starting to get warm here. Okay, so we're looking good. We put our cap back on here. I put just a little bit of anti-seize on the threads. So there's a gasket, the rubber gasket there. So on the top side of that, we put a little bit of anti-seize. It shouldn't... Uh, get into the coolant or anything that way and we're going to put this back on now thread that nice and snug and then uh, now the key after we tighten that down is drive the car around with the heat on for a while and it'll balance things out uh, for this particular tank because you'll see other tanks on the side it'll say the maximum fill line this one the maximum fill line is pretty much here because it has the expansion air section here and that's where any excess will go out of this tube and back into the radiator. So um, anyway, at this point, we just want to drive the car around, get it to full operating temperature, but we're... Okay, the coolant crossover plug is tight again. And then we just went over and we lifted on the driver's side. And now we're gonna lower it here on the passenger side with our blocks of wood here so that we don't uh, hurt the side of the car since this car is lowered. 